Hey guys, now in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can back up your secure folder in your Samsung Galaxy S23 phone and move it to the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra or any of the S24 line. I have to tell you, after spending three hours with Samsung on the phone, trying to get them to help me to do this, they weren't able to achieve it. But I'm going to show you what you can do so you don't have to wait on the phone. Let me show you how. Now, one of the things I wanted to highlight is that during Nilda secure folder transfer, as she was getting her new phone, Smart Switch did pick up her secure folder and it created a backup for her and I was able to restore it. I did the transfer for her. But for my phone, this one right here, it didn't do it. And I've had this not work successfully in many phones in the past. And you saw what I described. So what you'll need is obviously the phone and then you'll need an external drive that's gonna be the size of the backup that you're looking to create. In other words, if you have, let's say, 500 meg on your secure folder, you need 500 meg. If you have a gig, you'll need a gig. If you have 200 gig, you're going to need 200 gig. This happens to be a drive from uh, Kingston. Really cool drive that they provided to me at CES. And this is a 512 gigabyte drive. Let me show you what you'll need to do. So the very first thing that you're going to do is you're going to insert your physical drive on your phone. So now I have it connected. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go into the settings area. Now, once in settings, you're going to type up backup. Okay. And you'll notice that there are several options here when it comes to backup. So what we're just going to do is just choose accounts and backup. Now, when you get into this area, one of the things that you're going to notice is that there's an area at the very bottom of the screen that says external storage transfer. This is the money. This is the money right here. This is the thing that's going to help you. So I'm going to choose this. And then once I chose it, You'll notice that I have USB storage and then I, and it has restore from this drive. This is the one that I had done before. I'm going to choose backup to USB storage. And one of the things that you'll see here is that this looks just like their smart switch software, right? So what it's going to do is it's going to look at everything that I have on this phone and it's going to give me the ability to do a backup of, of one of the things that I just couldn't back up. So you'll notice at the very bottom, I have custom selected. I'm going to choose next. And now what I can do is I can uncheck everything and I could go into the apps folder. And in the app folder, notice what I have there, secure folder. This is what I wanted, all right? What you'll do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uncheck everything else. I don't need any of these other things. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave my secure folder, all right? Let's do it this way. That's all I want. What I'll now do is I'll hit done, all right? All I want is that. I'll scroll to the bottom and I'll say back up. Now, when I hit next, it will start backing up that secure folder to an encrypted file. So it's going to ask you to give it a password, which you'll want to remember, and then it's going to encrypt everything. Now, when you go to your next phone, you're going to do the following. All right, so this is my Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. I'm going to go ahead and connect the drive to the phone, right? And I'm also going to go straight into the settings area. Let's do that. Now I'm going to go in the same area I was before. I'm going to go into this external storage transfer. And notice that it has backup and restore. Here's my backup. I'm going to choose it. And now what I could do is I can restore one portion of the phone or everything I want. All I have to do is hit next. And then it's going to ask me for my password. And it's going to restore my secure folder. Now, a couple things that you'll need to be sure you have. First of all, when you do your original backup, you want to be logged into your secure folder and have it not locked because you won't be able to back it up if it's locked. Second, when you do your restore, you'll want to make sure that you've created a secure folder on the destination phone and also that it's unlocked. And once you hit next, you provide your password and you're done. Everything is restored. This is a power tip that no one's going to tell you, but you heard it here. See you in the next video. And I hope this helps you out. It drove me crazy.